Hey out there YouTubers, uh, coming at you with a um, tips um, and, some, and some shop safety I guess for knife makers. Um, recently uh, one of our fellow knife makers was uh, drilling um, on a knife and from what I understand all he had to do was open the hole up a little bit and we'll talk about that in a second but and he didn't clamp it down uh, he just went ahead and went over to the drill press and drilled it and of course it caught the drill bit caught and the blade was sharp and it helicoptered and pretty much cut the palms of his hands off uh, cut his fingers all up it, 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 it hurt him really bad um, I learned a long 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 time ago always clamp stuff down when you're drilling it because uh, stuff like that happens um, I never got injured, but I have had stuff get caught in helicopter. Um, right after that happened, I was watching a uh, YouTube video of a fellow uh, fairly prominent knife maker, and um, in that video, he he pretty much uh, does all the forging, does all of that, and his wife does the drilling of the tangs and uh, the, uh, a lot of the handle work. And sure enough. Um, during their demonstration, he handed her off a blade and she walked over there, two drill presses set up with a, a drill vise, a vise on each uh, drill press with, a, with them opened up with a gap in between. She never once clamped them down, she just drilled and uh, when she went to the next uh, procedure, one of those blades caught and rode up the drill bit. Uh, she was wearing gloves. I, if I remember right, I think. Anyway, she grabbed hold of it real tight, uh, and, it, and it didn't get loose. But it did. It did ride up the drill bit, the drill bit, and that's probably uh, more so with a larger drill bit than, say, an eighth inch drill bit. Anyway, um, this is my drilling jig that I use, um, and it's it's about due to be replaced. It's got a lot of holes in it, but. Um, this is all you need, and you can get these clamps from any uh, woodworking supply. Um, I got these years ago. I've got a whole a whole bunch of them. Anyway, you just uh, you just take your material and uh, clamp it down. You're nice and flat and square. You can go in on your drill press, do your drilling. Uh, the other the other thing is everybody. If you're a knife maker, you got tons of belts. And uh, I use a old 120 grit belts, wore out belts, um, and they add, they do two things: they add grip, one. But the other thing is, when you're drilling handle scales, you need to back them up with something so you don't blow out when you when your drill uh, comes out the other side. So I used to use uh, little pieces of wood, like I'd save like paint stir sticks and stuff like that, and you were always having to adjust your your clamps and then one day I just thought I need something fairly uh, rigid that I can put in there and, I, and I, I picked up a 120 grit belt and I was like I've been throwing these away so I save a few and just cut them up lay them down put your knife on there clamp it down or your scales and when you pass through your scale you won't blow the other side out because you've got it backed up with something. So that's a tip for that. The other thing I want to talk about is drill bits. Um, I see a lot of guys struggling, uh, say they're going to use an eighth inch pin. The most too common, and, I, and I'll talk about these, is an eighth inch and I would guess a quarter inch. So a quarter inch drill bit will not let a quarter inch pin pass through. An eighth inch drill bit will not let an eighth inch pin pass through because uh, for one thing those brass or stainless whatever you're using are uh, cold rolled and they're not perfectly an eighth of an inch and they're not always perfectly round but they will not pass through so you end up fiddling around and I think that's what happened to the other maker was he had a pin that wouldn't pass through he's trying to open the hole up and cut himself the uh, um, the thing is, they make drill bits 
that are number drill bits and letter drill bits. So uh, eight, if you're going to use an eighth inch pin, use a number 30, this is a number drill bit, a number 30 drill bit, and it's just a scotch bigger than an eighth inch. You can't tell by looking at it, but your pin will pass through very easily. And you won't fight with that. The other one for a quarter inch is a letter F drill bit. And it's just slightly bigger than a quarter inch, just a, just, just a hair bigger, just enough to let a quarter inch pin pass through. Um, in the past years ago, before I got onto that, you know, you're always taking a pin and putting it in a, chucking it up in a drill and sanding it, trying to get it to pass through easily. So that's the ticket. Once again, eighth inch, use a number 30 drill bit. Quarter inch, use a letter F drill bit. So in another uh, instance, there was a gentleman that was struggling to, on his first hidden tang knife and he couldn't, he, he, couldn't get files to work, he just wasn't able to get the hole opened up. And I recommended to him, make your, I mean, we're knife makers, we make tools. Make yourself a brooch and make yourself a chisel. And I saw the ones that he did and, and immediately they were way too big, I knew that. But I, I give him points for trying. So on, and this one's a short handled one, I've got some longer ones. This is a, uh, an eighth inch and then it's rounded and then comes down to a nice chisel point that's just a nice little chisel to go in and work in your in your slot for your hidden tang and then this is a brooch and the way this works is is you run it down in and then hook and, it, and it'll clean that hole out um, and you're not trying to do a massive job in one shot you're not trying to rip it all out of there at once you just keep using this little tool and hopefully that's picking that up. Um, they're easy to make uh, if you can see what the profile is and then you, you heat treat them and temper them. This one's got a spring temper to it and I'll show you. I mean this is a piece of walnut and you're just you're gonna go in there into that slot and drag it back out and I mean it's cutting same thing with the uh, the little chisel and you and you work it until until your tang fits in there the way it should fit anyway those are the tips I got for today thanks for watching Paul from Alaska uh, God bless Hey, if I don't, if you don't, I don't get another video out before Christmas, Merry Christmas, uh, and uh, Happy New Year. God bless everyone. Take care. Paul from Alaska.